This is the GBU-39 Smart Bomb, and there is no hiding from it. It can penetrate any bunker to reach its target. 60 of these machines would cover an area the size of Manhattan. Today, we will show the 10 most powerful weapons in the world. But first, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. May it bring you 10 years of good luck. Remember these self-driving cars with miniguns from Terminator 3? When you look at the Uran 9 robot and the German Rhein Metall Mission Master, and I tell you that it's Skynet, only one thought comes to your mind. <laughs> The Uran 9 is a 10-ton remote-controlled tank which carries four anti-tank missiles, a 30mm gun, 12 rocket flamethrowers, and a machine gun. Sure, it's not as cool as the robots from the movie, but even today, a dozen of these robots can patrol an area of several kilometers. Plus, any manpower and small-caliber weapons are useless against its armor. And this remote-controlled German Rhein Metall Mission Master Armored Personnel Carrier helps soldiers transport personal belongings, weapons, ammunition, and other cargo weighing up to 600 kilograms to any hard-to-reach places. It's also armed with machine guns and MLRS, 14 70mm rockets. How awesome does this look? The only thing this machine gun lacks is being self-aware. Cluster bombs are the most terrifying aerial bombs in history. Each bomb contained many submunitions. One such bomb, the CBU-58, contained 650 bombs the size of baseballs. When the CBU-58 was dropped from an aircraft, it would open up in the air and the 650 small bombs would plummet to the ground. Upon impact, each bomb would scatter 270 pieces of shrapnel in a 300-meter radius. The CBU-89 cluster bomb created minefields in a matter of seconds. One 450-kilogram bomb contained 432 anti-tank and 132 anti-personnel mines, which fell to the ground and were active for 40 days. Nothing could have saved you from these weapons. Cluster bombs are banned in 108 countries around the world as they are considered one of the most inhumane weapons. The AK-630M2 Duet is a Russian automatic rotary cannon capable of finding and destroying any target at a distance of 5 kilometers, including anti-ship missiles. It is the fastest firing cannon on the planet, a thousand rounds per minute with 30 by 165 millimeter ammunition. Watch these two six-barreled cannons shoot so fast, they look like a flamethrower. And this is the American Profense M134 minigun, the only machine gun in the world that can be controlled remotely without any human intervention at all. The Profense M134 minigun has the highest rate of fire of any machine gun, 6,000 rounds per minute. Such a wall of lead means that it's nearly impossible to get closer than a kilometer away from the Profense M134 minigun, and it can only be destroyed by a direct hit from an anti-material rifle or other heavy weapon. The Russian Bastion P is the fastest coastal missile system. It finds a target, fires a missile, then redeploys in less than five minutes. This rate allows one Bastion P to control more than 600 kilometers of coastline. 30 of these vehicles could protect the entire U.S. coastline. The Bastion P is armed with the P-800 Onyx anti-ship cruise missile. The 8-meter, 3-ton missile can hit targets at a distance of 350 kilometers. A 300-kilogram warhead would tear a large ship to pieces. There is no escaping the P-800 Onyx as it approaches the target at a supersonic speed of 3.2 thousand kilometers an hour. This makes it difficult to detect and intercept with air defense. Does this rocket remind you of anyone? The S-400 Triumph is the most powerful anti-aircraft missile system in the world. It is capable of destroying any aerial target, including ballistic missiles and supersonic stealth aircraft. 
For comparison, the fastest rocket in the world, the Zircon, can reach a speed of 3 kilometers per second and fly around the Earth in 4 hours. But even that is too slow to escape the S-400, which can destroy targets reaching speeds of up to 5 kilometers per second. The S-400 takes only 2 to 3 seconds to lock all targets within a 600 kilometer radius and up to 100 kilometers high. After that, its homing missiles are ready to attack. The most frightening MLRS in the world. The TOS-1A is a tank with 24 thermobaric 220mm rockets. In 6 seconds, it can rain down fire on 40,000 square meters of land. That's 4 baseball fields. The thermobaric rockets are sprayed over the area like an aerosol that ignites and explodes. The air temperature rises to 1000 degrees Celsius, which can cause the fuel in enemy equipment to ignite spontaneously and destroy the vehicle from the inside, even if it's not touched by shrapnel. But the maximum range of the TOS-1A is 6 kilometers. If the enemy is far away, then the 9A-52-2 Smirch becomes the most powerful and longest range MLRS in the world. It can strike targets up to 120 kilometers away. The 9A-52-2 is loaded with 12 300mm rockets. It can fire a full volley in just 38 seconds, shelling an area the size of 67 baseball fields. And if not just one combat vehicle's firing, but the whole convoy, then 69 A-52-2s would be able to cover 92% of an area the size of Manhattan in just 38 seconds. <laughs> Archer is the fastest artillery system in the world. The 155mm cannon takes only 23 seconds to turn around and fire the first shot. In 1 minute 14 seconds, the archer is put on alert, fires 3 shots, and manages to redeploy. While the projectile is on its way to the target, archer can also move to another location and launch another attack, making it virtually impossible to track down. Once on alert, the automatic artillery can fire 8 rounds per minute. Imagine what a few of these fast artillery systems are capable of. The enemy would go crazy trying to figure out where to return fire. Do you think the Flying Dutchman from Pirates of the Caribbean is the worst thing that can emerge from the water? Well, then check out this Ohio-class submarine. Terrifying, right? One Ohio-class submarine has 24 13-meter Trident 2 D5 rockets with 288 nuclear warheads on board. 12 warheads per missile. No other submarine in the world carries that many nuclear charges. The missile's flight range is 11.3 thousand kilometers. That's enough to fire at any part of the planet if it imperceptibly approaches the coast and unleashes all Trident 2D5s from a depth of 30 meters. The United States has 14 of these submarines. That's 336 missiles and 4,032 nuclear bombs. Can you imagine what would happen if they launched all the missiles at the same time? No missile defense in the world would be able to handle that. Many nuclear ballistic missiles have more than one warhead. One rocket can drop up to 14 nuclear bombs. When a missile reaches an altitude of 100 kilometers, the warheads are deployed and they hit their targets with extreme precision. For example, the R-30 Bolava missile contains 10 nuclear warheads, which are 10 times more powerful than the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. The R-30s are fired from a submarine, just like the Trident 2 missiles on the Ohio-class submarines. Now look at this. The 22-meter RS-24 Yards Intercontinental Ballistic Missile with a range of 12,000 kilometers. Think it has even more warheads? Well, no, just four. But each of them is three times more powerful than the R-30 and Trident 2 warheads. The smaller the warheads, the more powerful they are. We have come to the most powerful weapon on the planet. The RS-28 Sarmat is the world's largest and longest range intercontinental ballistic missile. The RS-28 is as tall as a 10-story building, 35 meters. The rocket weighs 200 tons and is about as wide as a Boeing 737. 
The gigantic RS-28 is capable of hitting a target at a distance of 18,000 kilometers. That's enough to fly across Eurasia from west to east. But that's not all. The RS-28 has the most powerful warheads. Each warhead weighs one ton and has a yield of 750 kilotons. One launch can drop 10 nuclear warheads, each of which is 40 times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima. And on top of that, the RS-28 is the most undetectable missile in the world. It's the only rocket on the planet that can be launched through the South Pole. That makes the RS-28 invisible to missile defense systems, because all radars are oriented to the west and the east. Now imagine what 10 or even 100 of these missiles could do. And that's all. We hope you enjoyed the video. Write in the comments which weapons surprised you the most.